Hey, what's going on guys? It is Chuck here, and uh, today we're going to be picking up kind of where we left off several months ago, uh, which is Faster Than Light. Now, I haven't played this game in a while. Uh, we're going to be picking it back up. I really, really do love this game. Uh, it's fun. It's kind of a challenge, and because it is sort of random events, um, yeah, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to playing it. Uh, now, the old save is gone. Uh, I just cleared it out just because... I had no idea where we left off, uh, so I started, let's start uh, again here, um, I'm going to tap on easy, what should we name the ship, I'm going to, you know what, I, I've sort of kept this theme of apple craft, so that's what I'm going to do, apple craft one, uh, so we are going to keep the kestrel here, uh, hit enter, we'll save it, uh, we can do the, the Taurus, apple craft one, we don't have type B yet, we hide the rooms. That looks cool. I really do like this game. It's so awesome. Uh, we need one more. Have six unique aliens on the Kestrel Cruiser simultaneously. That's going to be a little bit different. Six different crew members. I guess, you know, we could kind of go for that. We just need to build out a massive team. Uh, let's see. Right now, Jill is piloting. We're going to we're gonna rename Jill. We're going to make it Hey Apple. It'll be me. We'll accept. Um, you know what? Let's stay a girl. We'll stay a girl. Uh, then we have Lan G, Lang, Nick Lang, and uh, Jack Shirai. Shirai? Sh I, I don't know. It, it, it's okay. Um, we have no augmentations, unfortunately, but uh, we don't need no stupid augmentations. We got it. We got our Artemis and our burst laser. Let's start. Uh, the data you carry is vital to remembering Federation fleet. Or two, the remaining Federation fleet. Oh god, I can't read today. Uh, we're just going to skip through reading. Uh, I am recording this on Tuesday. Uh, we'll see how long, how many of these episodes I'll record in a single session. But uh, live stream for about 12 hours, 12 and a half hours before I fell asleep. Uh, I was planning on doing a 24 hour stream, but clearly that didn't happen. Uh, I'm just going to get these weapons set up. Is it V that's auto fire? It is. Okay, awesome. Oh, oh V off. Okay. Uh, we're gonna jump. There's nothing good here. Um, let's see. So we. I don't know why I picked here. That was sort of a random place to go. Um, let's see. If I travel this way, will that work? Yeah. You know. Then we could. I kind of want to avoid the nebula, a little bit. Um, well, you know, we'll jump to this distress beacon. Wasting a bit of time here. Uh, you find a colony that seems to have been recently attacked, exploiting the devastation. You find a lone survivor. We'll invite him to join our crew. Uh, he happily offers his services for a time uh, in exchange for getting off that rock. Cool! We now have Charlie. Charlie! Uh, let's see. What is he? He's a Zoltan. Zoltan are close allies of the end guy. Uh, their innate energy is strong enough to power ship, ship systems. Provides power to occupied systems. Maximum health is reduced. Okay, so we're going to make him the shield's operator. Uh, Lang, you're going to be the, the uh, weapons guy. And uh, Shri, you're going to be the engine mechanic. This way we always will have powered shields even if we start getting attacked. Uh, actually... Sweet, and then we can put that extra energy towards there. Cool. Uh, we have a little bit extra power, too. What should we put this towards? You know, let's start putting it towards extra shields. Okay. Start putting our scrap towards extra shields. All right, there we go. Um, upon completing your jump, you receive a message from nearby ship. Uh, greetings and welcome from our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on your way. Ah, fuck you. We could take you. Too bad. You're going to regret this decision? No, we're not. All right, let's take out those shields. I'll put that on uh, auto there. Um, and, you know, what? I'm going to save our 13 or our 8 missiles here. I bet we could do this without that. Actually, you know what? No, we're not. I'm still going to throw that up because they've got uh, dual lasers. That's going to hurt. Crap. Uh... They offer you some of their cargo if you let them live. Accept their offer. Four missiles, one drone part, and four and eleven scrap. You know what? Four missiles is definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Sweet. 
Um, we could technically buy another power now. Might as well keep it in line. Uh, no. We'll undo. Uh, no matter what. We're not, not going to do that. We're going to save up a little bit. Um, we'll go like this. We'll kind of zigzag away to the exit. That that should work fine. Uh, we'll go we'll go up then down. Yeah? Yeah. That works. All right. Uh an advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. Since it's indicated it's a strong vessel for military goods, uh we could attack the automated ship. You know what? Let's do that. Okay, you know we got extra, we got extra uh, shizzle whistle here. We're gonna go straight for the weapons. Uh, yes, we got auto fire on. This should be good. Let's see how this goes. <clears throat> With this laser, crap! They got, they got that off. Okay. Well, they're an automated ship, so they can't repair their stuff. So I'm just gonna take out their other weapon. We go straight for their shields here. We're gonna save our missiles the best we can. Hopefully, it works out for the better. Okay, we took out their shields. We'll take out. Uh, you know, let's take this out so they can't miss. Although this will kill them. No, it won't. We'll still have to hit them one more time. Wow. No, just kidding. I didn't realize he did three lasers. Sweet. Uh, you salvage what you can from the broken ship. We're gonna investigate the station. Um, the station is a storage site for various resources. You salvage everything possible. Sweet. Get a bunch of extra scrap, more missiles. Do we get fuel? We got some drone parts for sure. Uh, okay. So, we can either put one more here for the second shield bar. And then we only have to buy this. Because the Zoltan is powering it, right? No. And we could take this and then we start losing our, our evade, which we don't want to do. So, we've now got a second shield. If we need to, we can pull the the repair offline and do double shield. There we go. Okay. We got it, guys. We're good. We're pro. We're so pro, bro. Uh, okay. Nice. Uh, you arrive at the next beacon only to be immediately or only to immediately be hailed by a small shuttle. Help us. We're being attacked by pirates. We're going to aid the civilian ship. This is going to work out. This is, I love these because it's like a double whammy uh, when you have uh, helped the, the ship like that. Because not only will you get them for... Um, oh, shit, son. Uh, we're going to go full-blown attack there. We're going to try and knock out all sorts of shit. Hopefully the missile misses. No. Crap. Okay, it's okay. The, the weapons are offline. We're going to save our Artemis. We don't really need it. Uh, Charlie is terrible at reporting or uh, fixing things. Shit. All right, I have one item in my inventory, according to Steam. I don't know what that means. No, you bastard! All right, these fuckers are dead. Uh, okay, so we'll take. There you go. You guys are dead, suckers. Double whammy on loot. We got a fuel, two missiles, and 21 scrap. We'll contact. Uh, I think my crew can patch up some of your... Oh, awesome. See, they even fixed our ship, guys. It was worth it. Don't don't judge me. It's okay. All right, so we'll get that extra power up so that way we can repair these two dumbasses. We'll get these guys sort of uh, getting healed up. The soundtrack in this game is so like 80s. Uh, hey, Apple, go back and pilot the ship, dumbass. Okay. And shields activate. Jump. Awesome. We're going to go up. We're going to grab this. And we're going to fly. You stumble across, or excuse me, you stumble across a forward scout of the rebel fleet. Obviously. Uh, they're powering their FTL. If they get away, they will no doubt warn the fleet about your position, which we do not want. So what we'll do is we'll take out their their uh, whatever is going on. They've got a laser and this little bastard. I don't think they'll be able to get in, so I'm not super worried about that. <clears throat> uh, but let's. I'm gonna go for the shields here, and so that way 
And then I'm actually going to hold off on number two. I'm going to wait until we knock out the shields. Okay, so we know we have a guaranteed hit there. Alright, Artemis, you're off. The case. Good game. Game over for these noobs. That was easy. It's all about being strategic, guys. Because I'm a strategist. I'm kidding. Obviously, that's not a word. Strategist. Uh, their ship breaks apart. And... <coughs> Uh, excuse me. Uh, and you are uh, relieved to know that you are still one step ahead of the fleet. We got three fuel, a drone part, and 20 scrap. We keep getting 20 scrap. I wish I could grab this. Pull it back in, grab another drone part. Go like, hey, what's up, girl? Okay, uh, we're going to jump. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to the nebula, guys. They'll definitely be slower here, but it uh, doesn't matter. It appears that an automated rebel scout was positioned within the nebula to warn of your passing. The ship starts to power its FTL drive. If it gets away, it will no doubt warn the fleet about your position, which we do not want to have happen. Uh, okay, so we'll take out that and that. Ugh. Okay, we'll take out their weapons. Okay, we'll take out their weapons and we'll go for this. It's okay. We'll take. We'll we'll have to take some hits here. I think it's inevitable. But, uh, hopefully it's not too big of a hit. This is going to be a missile. Shit. Enemy FTL delayed. Damn straight, son. Alright, their shields are gone. They're, they're done. Alright. I just realized we need better doors. If we get hit, we could have a serious fire uh, happen. Um, so see... <clears throat> can't see it right now, really, but... Uh, these doors suck balls. <laughs> So we're just going to upgrade our doors a little bit. We get slightly better doors. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. That works. Okay. Well done. So we got better doors now. We're going to continue on. Carry on my wayward son. All right. Uh, a black market weapons trailer. We're going to attack the ship. Hopefully we get an extra weapon out of it. <clears throat> okay, this is an ion blaster and a laser beam. I'm not super worried about it. This will probably just inhabit, you know, take one down. But we got double shields. So at this point in the game, we're pretty much ahead of the pack. Uh, we're going to go for their shields, though, for sure. These slugs are going down. Whoa. <sighs> My sleep schedule is going to be so fucked up. All right, yeah, they can't, they can't touch us. No, 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 can't touch me. No, 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 no. Let's knock out the shields here. <clears throat> All that does really matter. They're dead. They're toast. Uh, the enemy ship appears to be powering up its FTL. It's trying to escape. <clears throat> How'd that work out for it? Not the best. Uh, the ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap. I would not consider 17 scrap a substantial collection <clears throat> or one missile, but uh, hey, you know what? Take it or leave it. I'm taking it. I'm not leaving anything. Um, okay, what do we get next here? What's our next upgrade path, guys? Um, I don't know. Arrgh! Honestly, I'd probably do the sensors. Or start focusing on the next... Nah. It'll probably be the upgraded evasion. Evasion? It would be really useful to see this so I could kill their team off. But I don't have the weapons yet to do that. So we'll invest in this. We'll get the better better evasion. So we still get a quarter of our evasion even when I'm not here. So if I have to go run away, we still get 3% evasion. Which is pretty good. Does that mean we can still jump? No. No, we still need a pilot. Okay. Uh, we'll go up to this nebula. That might have been a waste of scrap. Uh, it's like it's pure and so. Uh, a heavily damaged Federation ship is hiding in the nebula at this beacon. Before they have time to make contact, they fade into the nebula. Attempt to follow and help them. Uh, your search is helpless. Your sensors can't pick up anything in the nebula. Damn it. Even with our... Oh, we should have gone with the better sensors. Oh, well. Maybe there's something here. Although, probably not. It's just a jump point out. You arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. 
Uh, we're going to aid the civilian ship again. I didn't even read what was going on, but I just knew that we were going to do it. Because we're awesome. Why? Wow. My voice just went wacko there. Because <clears throat> we're awesome. Uh, we're going to go after their shields here. We'll knock out their shields, and then we'll knock out their piloting. We could just kill them. I mean, like, when I say that, I mean, like, we could just keep going after their uh, their oxygen. <laughs> keep fucking up their oxygen, make, make it so they, they have no O2. End up dying of uh, oxygen starvation. It's going to be a long one, I feel like. Because they keep repairing their fucking shields. So we get one hit off. There we go. Alright, they're piloting. This is going to take them a little longer. Hopefully it won't be back up by the time we knock this out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, it's okay. It's okay. One more hit. They can't evade as of right now. Although they're probably repairing it. If I were them, I'd be repairing it. But they didn't. Which means we didn't have a miss. They're dead, son. The pirate ship breaks apart. Apart. Uh, you... Yes. Uh, I can't speak today. Uh, we got 16 scrap a missile and a drone part, though. Uh, and they gave us 24 scrap a drone part and a missile. Wow. That was totally worth it. Damn, son. Um, uh, okay, well. Uh, let's put it towards better sensors. No? No, just me. Okay. Never mind. Uh, we definitely need... Do we need an extra power? Not really. Okay. So. This is where we're gonna end it, guys. Uh, we're either gonna go to the Zoltan controlled sector. Wow, it's like, seriously, no nebulas this entire game. Wow, I've never seen this before. Uh, well, uh, we either go up here, and then we have a chance to either go, well, I guess we kind of, we have a better chance of going almost all civilians up till the end. Or, we go up here, we can go pretty much all hostile, if we chose to, if we went with the Zoltan. Or if we went with the civilian controlled sector, we'd still have an opportunity to get up here. Uh, we just have more civilian sectors. And, uh, like I said, you know, let me know if we want to go with the civilian controlled sector. Or the Zoltan controlled sector. Kind of have this. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Now that I'm actually looking at it. It's really, which one do I want? Because they are practically, they give me the same opportunities no matter which way I go. So. Choose which one, guys. I will see you all in the next video. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. No face cam today. Uh, I just woke up, so I'm not decent enough to uh, to do that. But I'm going to keep recording. going to keep enjoying this. And I will see you all next time.